race has been a thorn in the side this year of the Democratic presidential campaign. And with the South Carolina Democratic primary just a few days away, it's moving to the front burner as the Clinton campaign accuses the Obama campaign of stirring up the race issue. Congressman James Clyburn is, to say the least, a powerful player in South Carolina politics, House Majority Whip, highest ranking African American in Congress, and he joins me now live. It's good to see you, Congressman. Thank you for being with us. Uh, thank uh, thank you so much for having me. Today, the New York Times said Bill Clinton accuses Obama camp of stirring the race issue. Is this getting a little too nasty for your taste? I think this is over the board, uh, over the line uh, in many instances. Look, we have had three contests already. Uh, we've had a contest in New Hampshire, Nevada, and, and Iowa. And if you check, you will find that Obama has got many, many, many more white votes and he's got black votes. So I don't understand why we are focusing uh, on this thing of, of, of Obama uh, being the candidate of black people. Uh, one could very well say he's the candidate of, of white people. He's got many more white votes than black votes. And then when I got home uh, this morning, I found out uh, that uh, all the black state senators that have taken the position uh, are supporting Ms. Clinton. So is she the candidate? for the black senators in South Carolina? Uh, I don't think so. I think we ought to really uh, get this behind us and let's get back to the issues at hand. Do what are we going to do about the Do you think that the Democratic economy? Party is getting to a point where this could harm them in the long run? We were talking about this a little earlier. James Carville ordered, uh, argued on the Today Show this morning that, you know, presidential politics is rough and tumble and you better be ready to get into the fray and an exchange is a good thing. The other side, the other argument obviously is that in the long run, people are going to be turned off by this. Do you think this is reaching that point on the Democratic side? Well, uh, the people I talk to aren't paying any attention to this. Uh, they really feel uh, that this campaign is good for the South Carolina Democratic Party. They think it's good for our party. And that Carville is correct. Uh, it is tough. Uh, there are a lot of things that's being said now. Uh, could very well be said come October uh, and November. And so we have to get ready uh, for the big leagues, uh, and um, uh, we are going through some of that uh, at this level. You have said that you understand uh, Bill Clinton wanting to defend his wife's honor and his own record, but you can, can't do that in a way that won't engender the kind of feelings that seem to be bubbling up as a result of this. What kinds of feelings are you hearing about? What kinds of response are you hearing, Congressman? Look, when the primaries are over, uh, we're going to have to come together uh, as a party. And I can remember uh, in past elections, I can remember Jimmy Carter's re-election campaign. I can remember Hubert Humphrey's campaign for the presidency. Uh, when things got so divided, we could not bring the party back together uh, in time to win the, the general election. And so what we have to do is be very, very careful, no matter what it is. It could be on questions of gender or of race, or there could be other reasonable considerations. We've had it in past years when candidates just ignored the South and we lost because uh, people were leaving one section of the, of the country out. So you cannot leave sections of the country out, no matter if it's race or, or if it's geography or if it's gender. We have to bring everybody on. And also, young voters, uh, for the first time, are energized, uh, for the first in a long time, are energized this year. We can't leave them out either. And they are in this campaign in large measure because of their attraction uh, to Obama. We cannot afford to turn those people off. Congressman Clyburn, it's always a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.